a video to show you this very very great street food the street food that I will be showing you is called Jianbing Jianbing is a Chinese style pancake now my um, best friend has requested for me to make this video so that's why I'm making this video for you Jianbing basically is usually eaten a lot in China now in every single province there's a different filling and I tend to find a majority of the Jian beans have the basic uh, spring onion, they have the um, bean paste and they have the um, fried dough. So anyway, let me show you what ingredients we need to make our own Jian Bing. So, to make our Jian Bing, um, our pancake or a crepe, we need our basic flour. If you got plain flour or all-purpose flour, you can use that in this recipe. You would need some uh, spring onion that I've chopped up into probably one centimeter pieces, some sesame oil, an egg, some um, bamboo shoots, some oyster sauce, and some dark soy sauce, some sea salt, and some MSG. So, I showed you all my ingredients that I'll be using for, for my Jian Bing. So, let's get cooking! So, first thing first, we're going to grab ourselves a bowl and we're going to grab ourselves our all-purpose flour or plain flour. We're going to start putting in, I would say, four, three to four tablespoons of flour. <laughs> in three tablespoons of flour and I'm just going to be slowly pouring in my uh, glass of water and mixing it in so as slowly as you can pour it in so we got our batter and it is thick as you can see so what we'll be doing now is adding in our sesame oil so I'll be using this same spoon and I'll put in near a tablespoon of sesame oil and mix that in so the reason why I poured in uh, my sesame oil because I don't want uh, the crepe to be stuck onto the pan and also it brings that really really nutty flavour to the crepe so that is my crepe batter Okay folks, we got our pan and it's getting heated up really well now and what I'm going to do is get, grab myself my sesame oil and I'll uh, pour a little bit into there. We don't usually use sesame oil to cook with but I'm just going to use like a teaspoon of it um, so it can fragrance the uh, dish a little bit. What I'm going to do is to put in my can uh, bamboo shoots that are drained. I'm just going to fry that up in the sesame oil. That will take a couple of minutes to fry up. Okay folks, it's been a couple of minutes and you can see the bamboo shoots are fried. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a pinch of salt so just a pinch and I'm gonna add a pinch of um, dark soy sauce as well just a little bit there we go and this is optional you can use some 
cashmere chili powder if you want it spicy if you do not want it spicy you can leave this out I just want a little bit of spice in there and give that a mix just making sure that everything is moderately uh, coated so as we've done that what I'll be doing is putting, placing them into my bowl and putting them onto one side. There it goes. So we're just going to place this to one side now. So we got our um, heat on low because our pan is still hot. So what I'll be doing is putting in my batter with my ladle. If you haven't got a ladle, use a spoon. So there you go. making it go as thinly as you can get it what I'm going to do is to crack my egg into the uh, crepe there you go so I'm just going to spread it out so it reaches that little bit of the outside so I'm um, just going to wait until the egg starts to cook a little bit on the top before we turn it over so we're just going to toss that over now okay so what we'll be using next is our oyster sauce and we're just going to spread that a little bit so let's just put that on a little bit and spread it everywhere we're just going to add a pinch of MSG as well just a pinch just to give it an extra flavour we're going to put in our spring onion onions so as much as you want you can put in a pinch of dark soy sauce Try and, spread that. and finally our bamboo shoots so we want that crunch to that as I'm not putting in some fried dough you can put in some fried dough and that's what traditionally um, in a GM bean you find a uh, fried dough but I'll be using this instead so it's time for us to roll it up I'm absolutely excited <laughs> there you go pour some green onions on top so folks, that's the end result. That's my Gian Bing. So that was my very tasty and yummy Gian Bing. And it tastes so good. I mean, the whole family and your friends will definitely enjoy it. So give it a try and um, comment below in what other recipes I should make in my upcoming videos so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and um, I'll see you next time with me Farah Panda bye